Hi, and welcome back to the farm. I'm Rebecca, coming to you from Blue Stem Botanicals in Doylestown. And today, we are gonna make our mocktail cordially yours using some of the ingredients that you may have found recently at your farmer's market. One of my favorites to start with, strawberry juice, which is gonna go incredible with this fantastic new syrup we are so happy to bring you. It has chamomile and anise hyssop. It'll have some of that licorice mint flavor to it. And we're gonna use these items to make a shrub. This is a kind of old timey way of preserving our fruits. So as we're searching the market and seeing what's fresh, we wanna keep them available and not just eat them, we wanna drink them too. We're gonna start with our new syrup and some fresh fruit. Now I'm using strawberry, like I said, it's that time of year, but as we move through the year, see what looks good, see what's fresh. You can easily switch out your fruit in this recipe for whatever might be more seasonal and local to you. I'm gonna use two full ounces of my juice. Now, if you don't have a juicer at home, you can just puree these right in the blender and then just make sure you strain out most of your solids. A cheesecloth works great for that. To that, I'm gonna do a full ounce of my syrup. This captures all of those really fresh from the farm flavors. Really nice, bright green, smooth. Now to that, I'm also gonna use our black fruit zero proof bitters. Now these aren't made with alcohol, so you can use them in any of your cocktails at home if you're trying to avoid that. And you can use them in any of your regular cocktails because they taste just as good with alcohol or without. Now this has, you'll see a dark color from the elderberry that we use, as well as Tulsi basil. And then we round it out with some wild quinine just to get that zing for your bitter. I'm using a full dropper. And it's, I did a couple because mine's not going up all the way, but feel free to use as much as you like. The magic in a shrub is the vinegar. Here's where we get to the preservative part of it. Now, since I'm using strawberries today, I thought a white balsamic vinegar would go really well with this one. If you're changing your fruits, experiment with different vinegars. So with watermelon, I really like red wine vinegar. Or with black cherry, you try the apple cider vinegar. Or you just open up the cabinet and see whatever vinegar you've got in there. It's probably gonna be delicious. So for this one, I'm gonna go a shy of a full ounce. Do just about three quarters, top that in there. And I am going to do just a couple bar spoons of lime juice. Doing these at home, since we're making them in advance, you'll probably want to do more than one cocktail at a time. So the recipes that we've given you will probably make about two. Now I'm just going to stir this up, make sure it's all nice and integrated. You're really going to get the aroma of the vinegar on here, and you're probably thinking, Rebecca, we just spoiled all these wonderful herbs that we did. It's okay. You haven't. We're going to put it in a container with a nice tight top on it and stick it in the fridge. And a week later, we have a perfectly mellowed shrub. Now, by this time, you can definitely tell the vinegar has receded to the background and is really letting our garden dance dance away. We're getting all those flavors of the Addis Hyssop, the chamomile, and then with our black fruit bitters, we're also getting some more fruit, just like amped up from the elderberry, the Tulsi, they're all kicking in with that wild quinine keeping it tangy in the back. And now you can taste all of those flavors. And this is perfect to keep in the fridge for a couple weeks up to a month. Uh, I don't think it'll last that long though. It never does in my house. I'm gonna take this and I just have a glass filled with ice and I'm gonna pour my shrub right into it. Now, I like my drinks really punching in on the flavor. So I'm gonna do a full two ounces. You might say, Rebecca, that's not even enough. You can amp yours up as much as you like. Or if you want to dial it back and just keep it subtle, that's fun too. And I'm just going to take some seltzer water and go right on top with that. Now remember, we already have our bitters, our syrup, everything's already in there. We've done the work already for ourselves. That's going to be perfect. 
my favorite straw. Give it a little swirl. And then our fresh botanicals. I love a little mint in here. It just echoes all those wonderful things that we put in there already. Weak it up a little bit, right in the glass. And it's good. 